another question from yesterday yes. uh, from the goodies, but almost lost. Mm -hmm. How did Baal turn Israel into a schizophrenic nation? You talk about that. Yeah. And how is he doing this to America now? Mm -hmm. Well, what he did is, see, now remember, Baal is taking a nation that is dedicated to God. Uh, he's, the, he's, the, he's the turner. He's the, the one who makes the nation turn away. So he's taking a nation dedicated to God, and he's going to turn it upside down. He's going to turn everything that God did against God, away from God. So it's going to be a nation turned in on itself, like almost hating itself, hating what it was. It's warring against the very foundation that it's standing on. So everything is like a double mind, and, and I can go through it, but I'll, I'll, I'll jump to America. He's turning America into a schizophrenic nation. How? This way. Wow. He's he's causing America to war against America. It's turned in because America was dedicated to God. Example, example. I mentioned the Supreme Court. Supreme Supreme Court strikes down the Ten Commandments. Says you cannot put it up in school. You cannot put right. it up. Strikes it down. On the walls of the Supreme Court are the Ten Commandments. Right. So yes. here, as the walls are there, they're warring against it. It's right there in back of them. You know the 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 school system of America. You know it was founded to teach children the word of God. That's, That's right. why it was founded. Now, it, the very same system is teaching children the ways of the gods and the ways against God. Schizophrenic. Yeah. The president of the United States puts his hand on a Bible to swear the oath of office. Still, yeah. he puts his hand on the Bible. And then, it depends on the president, but we've seen it, puts it on the Bible. Then, with his other hand, writes out laws that war against God. It, you know, they'll say, in God we trust, and yet yeah. use that money against God. It is wow. everything is turned. That's the fingerprints of Baal. You saw it with Israel. It was a nation. You saw all the things that were created for God. You know, in the temple of Jerusalem, before it was destroyed, they were worshiping other gods in God's temple. And then, yeah. so he turned everything upside down. We have become a schizophrenic nation. Wow. Mm. wow. In the return of the gods, this book that everyone has to order, you, you need to get it before they're sold out because they will be sold out the first week. I predict that. But you, you, you're you going to want to read it. You, you're going to want to read this book. And uh, like me, you don't want to put it down. Mm -hmm. And uh, in The Return of the Gods, you speak of the Enchantress. Uh, who is the Enchantress? <clears throat> okay. Now moving to the second um, principality of the Dark Trinity, second God. And this, the Enchantress, in, is actually recorded in, in, well, in Canaanite mythology. She is actually the wife of Baal. Baal has a wife. Okay. And now, and it's so, oh so, Baal, it's, so Baal comes, but he's got a wife he's, or a lover, a consort. And this is linked to this. Now, in other mythologies, she appears other ways. I want to tell you about this is a fascinating one. Yeah. She's going to be very instrumental. Um, she's one among, it's a she, as you can hear. It's among the oldest principalities ever recorded. Among the oldest writings are about her in, 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 on this planet Earth, about, about this goddess. In the Bible, she is called Ashtoreth, either Ashtoreth or Ashtora. Uh, that is, it says, and it, oh, and it will say Baal and Ashtoreth, Baal, Ashtoreth. Mm -hmm. Now, Ashtoreth in the, in the Mesopotamian world is known as, sounds almost similar, Ashtoreth Ishtar. Oh, Ishtar, you've heard yeah. it. Ishtar, he changed it around and becomes Ashtoreth or Astart. When she went into the Greek world, she she transformed into Aphrodite. Wow. When she moved into the Roman world, she transformed into Venus. Oh, but she my. is. I will. I will. I will speak about her as the goddess. Or Ishtar was her the large or Ashtora. Yeah. So the so who is she? Who is this spirit? She is the goddess of sexual immorality. Mm. sexual promiscuity. She's the goddess of, she's actually a prostitute in her own mythology. She's the prostitute goddess. She's immoral. She cannot stay married or faithful to any one person. She is also the god of, god of destruction. And uh, interesting, you have sexual, sexual immorality, then you have destruction as well. She, she, when, when Israel turned away from God, they mm -hmm. turned to Baal. Mm -hmm. But the Bible will always say, will say Baal and then Ashtoreth. The order is first comes Baal, then he opens the door for Ashtoreth. The Ishtar god, the goddess, comes in next. Mm -hmm. So what happens is that Israel starts 
getting into sexual immorality. So look at now, how would this play out in America? What would happen? First, okay, so first it means that America starts opening the door, comes in the first spirit, the first God, Baal, Tur begins the turning away, put away prayer, put away this. So what, is, what does it mean is going to happen according to the order that's in the Bible? The next one coming is the goddess, is Ishtar. Next one, when she comes in, what's going to happen? She's going to touch the realm of sexuality. And so as she, that's her specialty. As she touches that realm, there's going to be a revolution in the realm of sexual morality. And so it will be, and it, so what hap it happened. It is called the sexual revolution. That's, right. that's Ishtar. First came, so first comes Baal to, to start taking God out. Next thing that floods America is the sexual revolution. That is Ishtar. It is a, she starts a transformation. Remember what I said, the mission of Baal is to take a Christian nation now. I mean, before he didn't know what a Christian, before he only knew pagan. Now he comes back, these are pagan gods. So they're not at home with a Christian civilization. So they have to turn the civilization so they can be at home with it. So they're gonna take a Christian nation, Baal's gonna take a Christian nation and work to convert it to become, transform it into a pagan nation. So. Ishtar will do it in a different way. She will take a, a Christian nation and she will transform it in the area of sexuality to make it a sexually pagan nation. Mm. Wow. So she's going to start what we're going to watch. If, the, if this, this principality returns, we're going to start seeing sexuality transforming from the biblical morality into a pagan morality. And so she's going to start overturning, overturning one after the next, after the next, after the next. And that, she's going to possess the nation through sexuality. Mm. She's going to possess America by turning it. And so notice what we see in the 1960s, same time period. First is this turning, and then like clockwork comes this. And what happens is now all of a sudden sexuality is taken out of marriage. See, remember, she is a, she is a, you know, let me actually, I have, I have a thing where it says, she's actually, it says, you, this is a, this is an ancient inscription I found <clears throat> to this goddess. You, my lady, dress like one of a lady like of ill repute. The pearls of a prostitute are around your neck. And she says, she says literally in one, in one of the inscriptions, this Prince Valley says, when I stand against the wall, it's one shekel. That's her price. She says, I am a prostitute. Prostitute. So what does that mean? She's a prostitute goddess. Prostitution works against marriage. Right. So therefore, what we're gonna what, what we're gonna witness when this spirit comes in is the weakening of marriage mm -hmm. in America, mm -hmm. the destruction of marriage in America. Mm -hmm. She takes sexuality out of marriage, puts it in puts what does a prostitute do? Sexuality is taken out of marriage, put into the culture, put into the marketplace. So the sign of Ishtar, as she possesses a culture, she takes sexuality out of marriage and the whole culture becomes sexualized. You know, what, what was never even spoken about becomes part of the culture. What was only in the, in the marriage bedroom now becomes the culture. So it weakens marriage because it's taking it out of marriage. Yeah. And so we start seeing an explosion of divorce, of broken homes. This is the work of Ishtar. She also carried a sword. She destroys work of Ishtar. We also see everything in our culture becomes becomes sexualized, um, and, and, we're, and it has not stopped. I mean, we want, it just goes to a deeper phase. She's still at work, I'm, I'm gigantically. But you'll see. So therefore, mar now sexuality becomes its own god. People are serving sexuality, and so sex. So therefore, therefore, you have now you have sex before marriage. It becomes it becomes the rule. You have people living together. It's becoming the rule now. You have it, you have adultery. You have divorce. You have the breaking up of marriage. You have sex. You have sexual. She, she, Ishtar goes to Hollywood, and now Hollywood, which took out God, God sort of goes. Now Ishtar comes in, and now you think everything's sexualized. Television, Ishtar all over with that. So, mm. so we're watching just like clockwork. Mm. This is the enchantress. Mm. She enchants. Mm. She seduces. She's a seduct. She's a seducer, a seductress, and that is what she has done to the culture of America. She is part of destroying of marriage then in America. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It goes right together. It's no accident.
that it's when the sexual revolution comes, yeah. that's when you have the destruction of marriage. And that was in the 60s, early 60s. Yeah. And maybe they didn't talk about it in the 50s, I don't know. But in the 60s, it was just, you know, free love, love the one you're with, all that. That was the beginning of it all. Yeah, and and you know, that the time, there's a time when it first comes and it comes on like, like it's some people are into it. But now it's seeped into the entire culture. Yeah. Oh, now, 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 I mean, that it, it's it, she keeps going. Yeah. And now, like the '60s ended and started, and abs absolutely, and she keeps going. Yeah. And so now, well, you know, you look at the younger generation and look at how you know now we have 40 percent of children are born without even marriage. Yeah. Right. You know, they're they're living. That has never been, but that's destroying. That's destroying marriage. It's destroying family. Yes. It's destroying culture, yes. and it's destroying children. Yeah. Yes. You know, it, it's no accident. You know. You know, and also when you don't have a, a husband and, and a, a father and mother mm -hmm. there to invest, the child is less protected now. Yes. The child is more apt to be abused. The child is more apt to be other things can be done with children now. And, and by the way, that feeds right. Think about think about how this goes together. They said that actually the cult of Ishtar and Ishtar, Ishtar is not only a prostitute, she's the goddess of prostitutes. Mm. All the prostitutes would look to her. Mm. And so she actually in her cult. They would have sexual, you know, sexual relations and have children. The children they believe could have been given to the sacrifice, which which goes to the next. The, we'll get to that one. Yeah. But it all feeds together. Children are destroyed because of Ishtar, because of wow. the sexual revolution.